Hey guys. <laughs> What's up, everybody? This is Isaac. This is Stephanie. This is Anthony. I'm just coming right back. <laughs> yes. Full circle. Full circle. So today we're going to talk about New Year's resolutions. Last time we talked about, actually, last time we talked to David because you weren't here. Yes. Um, <clears throat> but two times before that, we talked about social media and how people play into that. We talked about how Stephanie kind of fell into the social media void and. I guess we'll talk about things to avoid when you're looking at the new year, how to set resolutions, and how to get into the groove for the new year. I like it. Yeah. No. For sure. I know we talked a little bit about your resolution, and then Stephanie, you had time to think about yours. <sighs> There's a whole bunch of stuff that I feel like I want to focus on this year, and I think my biggest one is that I'm doing really well. I mean, also, I have a lot more time on my hands than I did you know, two weeks ago. Um, is maintaining my exercise, even if I have to cut it down to three times a week. Because uh, right now I'm doing the cardio, uh, the metabolic conditioning for uh, five days a week. Um, and I feel great. I feel awesome. I've been meal prepping again. It's been great. It's just I need to make sure that I continue Assistance. to do that throughout the school year. That, you know, if I do fall off for a week because I've got a lot due or whatever it is, just make sure I don't let that be an excuse to not continue is, is really what I need to make sure I do is that I feel great moving again and, and doing it with, you know, with a purpose. Um, and my stress levels have been so awesome. Like these past two weeks that I just feel so good. Like I've had a one day of like sheer panic because I'm not sure what my schedule is going to be like yet next semester. Mm -hmm. And that like sense of unknown really makes me uncomfortable. So I had one day where I was like, I don't feel good. So I spent 20 minutes in the sauna, and honestly, the past couple of days, I just feel fantastic. So I'm just trying really hard to maintain my stress levels, to bring that down, and just keep exercising. I feel good. I feel good. Yeah. You know? That's the big so. one, then. Keep exercising for you. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Have you thought about yours? I thought about one. I don't know if it really <laughs> counts as a goal for the year. <clears throat> I'm going to put... So we talked a little bit about like all the stuff we have with the LT method. And I'm gonna put myself through each month, I'm gonna put myself through one section of that and make myself my own case study and then my clients as well. And this, uh, this explain. Like so, you know, it breaks down into like the, the programming, the metabolic conditioning and stuff like that. So I'm gonna use that as my training for a one month cycle. And then my, my end goal is to be back to obviously being more consistent. And then I think, I think I may compete next year. Just because we were talking about it, and I was like, you know what? I love it, dude. I you know. should. That'd be awesome. Just, just to do it again. I don't know, though. It's there. You're just for about funsies. It, about I it. mean, yeah. if nothing thinking else, just it do sure. it for funsies. So. I mean, have a good time. Do it. I mean, lean out and just I mean, have a good time. What? 30, 35. 35. Oh, this would be the year. Yeah. When do you turn 36? October. <clears throat> so. Yeah. I thought about it. I was thinking about it when I was doing the editing of the. Uh, Dude, the last I mean, video. you can see the picture every time you uh, upload the video. I know, and that's what I know. Think about it, and I'm like, dude. Like I know. Like every time I do it, too, I'm like, maybe I should. Yeah, man. Absolutely. <clears throat> I like that. That's a good but, man, that's cool. Recap. I think I, oh, I told you I'm gonna start the karate, mm -hmm. so I'm still getting in the zone with my my training and, and stuff. But um, I'm also thinking about adding learning an instrument. So I don't know if it's going to be awesome. the piano. I already have a harmonica, but I think that's going to be really hard. But i um, probably going to do a piano because I'd like to learn the piano. But You we'll have the see. fingers for piano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely have the fingers. That's what I've been told. Get a piano and I have a client yeah. who's a piano teacher. You know how things work. With yeah. that, that's right? awesome. So I think it's just meant to be. So um, I'm going to, oh, we'll see oh, when I buy the piano. But I want to I want to just kind of challenge my mind this year. That's the biggest, the I like biggest that. one. Yeah. That's awesome. One thing you did say, which I thought of as I was, again, watching the video and editing it, the I'm going to get in shape before I go to karate. Yeah. Like, you, you did the same thing like the clients do. It's like, yeah. I, want, I want to work with you, but I want to get in shape first. <laughs> so what, why, why wait? Well, it's finances is okay. one. That's honestly the biggest one. Um, scheduling. Okay. Um, rearranging the schedule in the evenings to, like, fit. Yeah. Um, and then just sticking to it. Like, I don't, I, I don't want to do, like, a 
Monday, Wednesday this week, and then like a Tuesday, Friday the week after. I'd like to just be yeah, a routine. Exactly. That way I don't have to worry about like, okay, I gotta fit this in, I gotta fit this in. Okay. So that's the biggest reason, and it, I, I'm, I find Fridays I have plenty of time. Tuesdays and Fridays I have wide open time um, in the afternoon slash evening. So, um, and then Tuesday, Friday. So that's good right there. I'm looking at two to three days is what I'm trying to get done. Yeah. I'm feeling good as far as my uh, cardio and just like the vibe. I, I'm not worried about being in shape. I know I'll be fine. Um, it's just the. Uh, it was just the whole finances, you know, budget, just fitting it into the budget is really the biggest thing. Um, so in the meantime, I was like, I'll get in shape, you know, get back into the consistency. Of things. Yeah, because I didn't think to ask about that. And then, of course, but yeah, listen no, to you're, like, you're right. And I then didn't I think about that I, either. Yeah, but it makes time. perfect sense. Because, I mean, well, I'm saying, not that it makes perfect sense what I'm saying, but that happens a lot. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I posted it on, on Facebook the other day, like, that's what we, that, that happens. It's like, oh, I'm going to wait until it happens. I'm going to wait until the first of the year. Well, and that's the biggest thing. Like this, this time of year, it, it makes me nuts because I had somebody else that I was talking to. They're like, "Yeah, yeah, I want to get in your class, but I want to wait till after the first of the year." And I was like, "Well, why?" They're like, "Well, because it's the first of the year." <laughs> and I'm like, "This makes no sense. Like, you know, if if you want to do something, do it. Like, I get that there's there's scheduling things, things like that, mm-hmm. but there's there's no sense in waiting because if you don't know how to get there and you don't start, yeah, you're yeah. never gonna get there. That's true. Because well, then you keep you keep saying, "Oh, yeah. then the second week." Yeah, then it's, it's the th- well, I miss third Monday, day so I can't do it. Yeah, and I get like I know with like PN, like the pro coach, everything starts on Monday, and I kind of get that because most people's mentality is if I don't do it on a Monday, I'm not going to do it. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's like just just start right now. Yeah, if you're ready to start, start right now, throw some workout yeah. clothes. I do not want to work out after this, <clears throat> but I'm going to. I'm here. I'm making the time. I have to clean my entire house because my family gets here tonight. I like ten. They're not staying with me. Oh, okay. thank goodness. <laughs> My brother would also die because he's allergic to cats, and I have four of them. Huh. So, <laughs> but <laughs> they're not staying with me. Whoop, it would just be like, like it's, yeah, it would just <laughs> he'd puff up, and that would be it. <laughs> um, the time we went to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yeah. Um, but they're gonna be here, and I know they're gonna come by the house. And yeah. it's just, my mom has always been that person that like, if you think company might come over, the house should be clean. And we have let the house kind of just. Not, not be as clean as I would like it to be. be. Mm-hmm. And so, and it's not dirty, it's just cluttered. So I just have to put stuff away and like put stuff back in their homes yeah. where it belongs and stuff. So that's what I'm going to be getting to do for the rest of the day. And I, I'm thinking about that and I don't want to exercise because I want to get that done. Yeah. But today is, you know, my zone four, zone one day. Of course I want to put that off. I don't want to, I don't want to do 20 minutes of zone four, zone one cardio. Like that sounds awful right now. Yeah. But it's like, it's going to be done. It's going to be over. Just start. Just start. Like, yeah. And the same thing, like, if you think about it in, you know, food-wise, like precision nutrition is that every meal is a starting point. Mm-hmm. Every, every minute is a new starting point that if you messed up your last meal, forgive yourself. Yeah. It is what it is. Make it better the next one. I mean, same thing for exercise yeah. is that, you know, if you – I didn't exercise on Tuesday. It was originally Tuesday. It was supposed to be my zone threes on one day. And – I was so panicky and stressed. I was like, I need sauna more than I need cardio today. And I'm going to allot my sauna, my cardio time for sauna. And I spent the time in the sauna, and I feel fantastic. I made the work up, workout up on you know Wednesday, and I pushed everything back a day. So today was yesterday's was technically supposed to be yesterday's exercise, but I'm still getting it done. Yeah, exactly. It's fine. You're making it work. Exactly, and that's exactly what you need to think about it. Is if you miss one day, just the next day is a new starting point. If you didn't wake up at 6 a.m. to do your exercise, then maybe even waking up in the morning is not for you. And missing you know? one day yeah. isn't the end of the world. Exactly, well, that's then, true. Yeah. And then I found another one. I just uh, put tag one of my clients in it. It was a shorter study, and the client and the people were only given three week, two weeks off instead of the three weeks. And they still, same thing, no change. No change in strength, lean body mass. All that's what it was. They were giving them post-workout, they were giving them carbs, protein, uh, one was a carb group, one was a protein group, um, that was the only difference between the two groups, but they all were forced to take a two-week break, still taking in that carb drink or protein drink. At that time. Where they, yeah, where they would have done their workout, no change in lean mass or fat composition. Wow. That's yeah. awesome. What they actually did find, which was interesting. Did they get stronger? Too, they, got, they got the same amount of strength. Okay. But what they found was the group that was doing the protein afterwards actually had a better change in lean composition at the end 
than the other groups. Whenever so, they incorporated exercise again, yeah, they had a better. Whereas oh, the, wow. the carb group didn't gain fat, so they didn't gain as much lean mm-hmm. mass either. So they just they got stronger proportionally, mm-hmm. but the other group had more mass, had more lean mass. Yeah. That's awesome. So That's it, really has, cool. it definitely says a lot for the post workout carbs. Now people are like, I gotta get my carbs, and I gotta get this, I gotta get that. It, it blows that whole anabolic window. Don't really. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's times that I'm not hungry. Like last night, I wasn't hungry when I got, because I worked out after my shift last night. So I worked out at like 8.30. Um, got home at like 9.30, and I had pot roast in the co- crock pot. Cause, huh, it's delicious. But I was like, I got home, and I just wasn't hungry. Yeah. And so I, you know, cleaned up, did some dishes, you know, did this, did that, and then, you know, took a shower, and then sat down and ate. And when I sat down and ate, I was like, okay, now I'm hungry. You know, but it was probably about an hour ish after you yeah. know working out. And there's sometimes that I'm not hungry for another two hours. So that I'm not I'm not going to eat if I'm not hungry. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that that's you know, my body still has fuel well, to break down, and it's, it's fine. so good. So many people will stuff food down their throat because they're like, oh, I have to eat. I don't yeah. want to miss my window. There's no window. Yeah, there's right? no window. It's, there's a window because protein companies want you to buy their protein, yeah. and so there's a 30 minute protein shake window. That doesn't exist because if you don't have the protein shake in 30 minutes, chances are you're going to go home and eat something or pick something else up and yeah. the protein companies don't make their money. Mm-hmm. So they created the myth of, you know, the anabolic window. Yeah. And that's the biggest thing too is if you did a workout, so you said zone three, zone two, is that what you said your workout was? Yesterday was recovery. Okay, so yesterday. So zone one, zone two. Zone, zone one, zone two. two. Okay, so when you think about like the zone one, zone four that you have to do today, that, that high intensity is going to trigger fight or flight. If you try and stuff food in your body, I was in your body's not yeah. going to digest it. Mm-hmm. So depending on the level of workout, yeah, you're zone one, zone two, go home and eat after that. It's a little you're, easy. you're like not at 100 yet. Yeah. You're like yeah. at 50. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then zone one, zone four, yeah, you can go stuff food in there, but your system's going to be like, I'm I ch- what I'm do I do with this? Yet. And then I'm the food ready. will actually go rancid in your stomach. Cause, and think about that too. Ooh. This is and how it reacts to it with food intolerances and food sensitivities. Yeah, so that's... So that's a great point. When you think about food and how long you can leave it out in like the atmosphere, the out of your oh, you did yeah, I completely love it. just give me the hygiene. <laughs> I guess that's why we eat. Well, yeah, um, but you leave food out and it, it goes bad. Is it two hours that you can leave food out for? It's like an hour and a half. I know you, hour and a half. Hour and a half. Something like that. Okay, so we'll say ninety minutes. Yeah. So you get done with the workout. It's super hard. You put food in your stomach. Now that food is sitting in there because your cortisol levels are higher, adrenal levels are higher. Your body's not processing that. You're not really dumping acid. So there's some acid in there. It's just kind of hanging out, though. Mm-hmm. Then all of a sudden, that, that, that switch happens where your body actually calms down enough. But once you put the food in there, you actually increase the stress response. So that food can actually be in there undigested for 90 minutes. So if the, the food spoiling point is at 90 minutes at room temperature, well, your core temperature is hotter than room temperature, so we can assume... Much so. Yeah. Right? Much so. Oh, my that gosh. That you're, <laughs> you're spoiling, you're turning food rancid in your stomach by trying to stuff it into a quick Very so, yeah. Because you're not going to digest it. Yeah. So just yeah, kind of that's a pretty picture. I know, it's very, nice. it's very, well, and then you think about everything we eat is a foreign substance, mm-hmm. right? So then when it's sitting there for 90 minutes and then the body's like, oh, now let's digest because I'm able to, or as it's getting more calm, it's starting to digest, but it's going to see these unpleasant chemicals because now it's starting to get spoiled, right? It's just, it's just been sitting in there for a while. So what's the body going to do? It's going to attack it. Right? And all of a sudden, every time you have potatoes right, with anything else, now your body attacks the potatoes, and it attacks the tortillas, and it attacks the eggs, and it attacks the mm-hmm. coconut oil that you cook it, it with. Because it creates the antibodies. Right? And, and then, then, you know, go yeah, after it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So then all of a sudden, your body's attacking foods that you don't even really have too much. Yeah. Right? Or, yeah. Or, yeah it's so nice. then you shut down, that, that window is gone now because your body can't absorb it. Yeah. And I think, too, I mean, if you are hungry, let's say you're here and you're working out for three hours and you're hungry afterwards, eat. Yeah. I guarantee you probably, do I have a fuzz? Yeah, it was okay. <laughs> that was went in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it's going in. Don't breathe in. Don't breathe in. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't edit that out. <laughs> what happened to Stephanie? Well, we just cut her out. Oh, my right? gosh, dude. Yesterday, time out. Um, <laughs> so I got a new backpack. And, you know, those, I saw that, yeah. those things that... Don't do not eat the salt. Yeah, the yes. salt packets or whatever. So oh. I, it was in my. I put them in my pocket. But you know, when you have your dog on the couch doing something, you freak out. Yeah. Like I'm like, oh my gosh, did I not put them up? Yeah. I jumped. I 
I stuck my hand down his <laughs> throat. I, what's the thing called? The uvula? The no, uvula. I grabbed it. I was like, and I almost pulled out, and I was like, oh, no, that's his uvula. Like, Dude, I was so scared. And, and Eric's all, <laughs> I'm like, oh, my gosh. And I'm like, where is it? Where did I put it? And I'm looking, and then I check my pocket, and then right here, I'm like, oh. I'm like, oh, I'm yeah. sorry. And I go throw them away right away. That's, Dude, but this is scary, man. There was a, there was a meme, and I'll see if I can find it, but they, they were talking about that, like, what are you chewing? And then also the talk's it's like, like it's yeah, the guy's a, a lion. lion. <laughs> <laughs> that's and that's exactly, exactly what it is. It is. I do it all the time. Yeah. Like, I have four little creatures that get into stuff, and they find things My around the house that I had no like, idea. It was in there. I, I, I've had to, like, swipe stuff out of their yeah. mouths before. It's bad. Oh. And it's like, I sit there, and I hear... And I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what are you eating? It's, 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 it's too strange. That's, that's a noise you don't want to hear. Yeah. 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 It's like when kids are quiet. Like, as soon as they're yes. quiet, it's like, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? doing? Did you be doing that? Like, yeah. I've gone up to her room multiple times. Absolutely. And I'm like, what are you doing in there? <laughs> playing? Yeah. Playing what? Oh, you're playing with dolls? Okay. Cool. Okay. Just you're really Ten quiet. Ten seconds later. Yeah, do you want to come back to the living room and play? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. When you walk in and they move really fast, you're like, okay, what were you doing? What were you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but back to what we were talking about, right? Just to clarify, and some of you guys know what, what food insensitivities and intolerance are, but what they do, just think of it like little bombs going off in your digestive system. Um, some more bigger, some more bigger, some bigger bombs than others. Um, and that's why they're kind of labeled when you do the food sensitivity test. But uh, a client who I know watches this, so I'll use her as an example, has two threes right, which is a big bomb when she has it, and it's coconut and almonds, right? But then she's got a lot of twos and a lot of ones, right? So it's just smaller bombs, but when you're having six ones a day, every day, it's gonna cause some serious digestive issues, right? So um, that's why we wanna avoid all those other things, right? Absolutely, <clears throat> absolutely. Yeah. Um, I also wanted to talk about, back to the exercising and like the why weight. Yeah. Um, I think my overall goal was to work out, mm -hmm. right? But then I saw karate as a chance of like a, a bonding moment for me and Zara too. Okay. But I also used it as, but also I couldn't start it until the finances and everything yeah. as well. But from like the overall goal, I kind of broke it down into smaller pieces, which we could segue into how do you go about your goals now, yeah. right? So like my overall goal is, is to get back into the exercise routine and, and learn something new. So it's karate. So I, I broke it up by starting the end of this year exercising again, you know, doing, hitting the heavy back, doing some kicks, working on my kicks, stretching a bit more, you know? Okay. Um, so kind of breaking it up. And then in January, February, I'll add the, the karate in, you know? And then at that point, I think that's just, just maintaining that schedule, you know? Kind of do some Olympic lifting every now and then, and stuff like that. I think that's good. They had, uh, they had these like kids shows on YouTube. They're just weird. Uh, it's like adults playing with toys. And I'm like, I don't, don't, don't like that. really feel comfortable with that. Yeah, and she was like watching them for a while. And I was like. Is it like unboxing? Yeah, it's like unboxings. And like this one lady was like cutting the toys up. And I could see their purpose, to be honest. So like you don't, because like there's sometimes there's stuff in there and you don't know what it is. And kids will like destroy stuff to figure out what's in there. So she was doing it for it. But it's like. She talks and it's like, so this is what we've got, kids. It's like creepy. Uh, it's like every like voice out of a horror movie. Listen, listen. I know. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, Amy's over there. She's listening. Yeah. She's like that over. Yeah, she's, you know, no, she's, she, she, never, she never has it loud enough for she can't hear you. Yeah. So if she's not, like, like, not paying attention to you, she's just ignoring you. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She knows. <laughs> um, but yeah, so at least we have, we have that why. So when you think about other whys, like what... What advice would you give someone who's got a, uh, I want to wait? Because I know there's a lot of things we wish we could say to people. Well, I, mean, I, I think like those, those, talks, those talks should be held with yourself. Yeah. As, and those are the, the parts where, you know, obviously wanting to work out and do these things, these, obviously any goal is because we want to be better, yeah. right? We're trying to change ourselves and improve ourselves. So at that point, you have to have the serious, crucial conversation like we do with clients sometimes, like, why? And it's not just, well, I want to lose 30 pounds. Well, why do you really want to lose 30 pounds, right? Like, do you really, are you really insecure about yourself? 
do you not like wearing long shirts because of your arms being fat? Yeah. You know, or I don't know. Can you touch your toes? You know, are you, you know, self self conscious about not touching your toes? Whatever it could be, you know, like that's essentially you have to ask yourself that and say why, and then you identify the problem and it's, well, what's my solution to that? And I think that's essentially the biggest thing I, I, I tell people is when you're complaining and complaining and complaining, that's not finding the solution, right? Um, so you can complain about the problem, but then you've got to stop at some point and say, okay, now how do I fix that? Or what do I need to do to start changing into the other direction I'm trying to go into? I like to bring that up that actually, because um, I'm going through, I'm running through the pro coach um, curriculum kind of like for through myself. Yourself. Yes. Um, and I actually just went over one of them and it was, um, don't tell yourself what you don't want. I want you to tell yourself what you do want. Yeah. And so it's not that I don't want to be fat. No, I do want to be healthier. Yes. There's a, it's a different mindset. Instead of taking that negativity yes. and putting it into, instead of, I don't want to be embarrassed. Yeah. Maybe you don't want to be embarrassed when you're in the gym because you're, maybe you're a couple pounds heavier than the other people that are there. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I guarantee every single person that's in there had a starting point that might have been similar to yours. Yeah. If you look at Gavin, one of our personal trainers, he has come so far. He has lost so much weight and has improved his life that it's made him realize that that's what he wants to do for the rest of his life. And I think that's fantastic. And it all takes a, an understanding that this is a starting point. I do want to make a difference. Yeah. I do want to start. I do want to be healthier, whatever it is. I do want to be able to play with my kids. Whatever that might be is just letting that be your starting point. And like I said, it doesn't have to be a Monday. It can be a Friday. It can be a Saturday. I mean, it doesn't matter. Just get up, put your clothes on, and just go. It doesn't matter if you just walk into that gym and just walk on the treadmill. The thing yeah. is, is that is a starting point. You got up, you got your butt out the door. Small. You yeah. went to the gym. That's great. One of my team members, his you know, thing is, is I just want to be here. He wasn't feeling very well. Um, this is like last month, he wasn't feeling very well. He's like, I just want to be here. I might just be walking on the treadmill, but if I don't come, it's going to make it easier for me not to come later. And he's like, I don't want to do that. And I said, that's great. I'm perfectly fine. If you're sick, if you're injured, and you just want to walk, and it's a zone three day, just walk. I, you're here. That is good enough for me. Yeah. We will tailor it to how we have to for you. That's fine. Because at least you stayed on routine. Yep. You stayed on exactly. schedule. You still showed up. Because it all comes down to these, these habits, and we want them to just be autopilot, where you, after a long day of work, and it's 530, you still go to the gym because it's just what you do. Exactly. Right? There isn't that, man, I'm just going to go home today because I'm tired. Right? Yeah. We want that auto habit. So that client who did that still showed up to the gym. Even if he it was a lighter workout, he still showed up. He still did something. Right? Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes even if you just do the sauna, right? take a whole recovery day, work, but still show up to where you're supposed to be. You know, Keep the appointment with yourself. Um, it's like at that point when you clock out of work, you stop working on the company's terms and you stop helping the company achieve their dreams and their goals, and now it's your turn. Now you work on the self, right? You work on Isaac, you work on Anthony, you work on Stephanie, and you say, okay, I'm not gonna miss my appointment even if I'm tired because this is my time, right? This, or find another way that's still gonna help improve, right? Like, yeah. you take the workout break, but do the sauna, right? Or don't do the zone four, do the zone one. You know, mm -hmm. still and keep, it, and keep the appointment. Keep the appointment with yourself. Well, I think it's important. I think one of the biggest things is just is understanding and forgiveness. And that's something that I talk about a lot with my clients is that just you need to forgive yourself. You need to forgive yourself for the mistakes that you've made in the past. You need to forgive yourself for the mistakes you're going to make in the future. And understand that you're a human being and that you are going to mess up and that this is not going to be just one trek uphill. Yeah. You're going to have to go over bumps. You're going to have to go through crevices. You're going to fail. You're going to get back up. You're going to start again. That's okay. Forgive yourself and don't let your future failures or the possibility of not achieving your goal in the time period you want to prevent you from starting or prevent you from being where you want to be. Because I've had people that I've invited to my team class and they're like, no, I really just kind of want to do it by myself before I join and do it with anybody else. Well, why? I just don't feel comfortable. 
okay, that's fair. I understand that everybody's a you know group yeah. person, but it's like I sense an embarrassment there that they feel like they're not going to be good enough. Because, I mean, some of the people in my class are, I mean, pretty good. About to from the point where I'm about to kick them out and they're moving up to cut because you need to graduate. You are too good for burn. You are now at the point where you can do better than this. Something a little harder. You're just comfortable. Nope, I'm moving you forward. You need to improve. And or so, weight training. Or, yeah. Absolutely. And so there's times when it's like you look at some of the people that are in class or you look at the people who work with, you know, us, that work with the personal trainers and the nutrition coaches, and it's like they look better than I do. I don't want to do that. And it's like, they've come a long way. I mean, one of my clients, and he's also one of Gavin's clients, he works with Gavin for training and he works with me with nutrition. And some of our conversations have honestly just been, why is it that I feel like I'm stuck? Okay, well, there's been situations in which he's made excuses for himself about not wanting to um, take lunches to, to work or to school. And he's like, they don't have a microwave. Like, have you looked? And he's like, well, yeah. And then, you know, I was like, I just want you to think about it. I want you to think about what you can do, even if it's bringing cold. And I've talked to you about him. Yeah. Even if it's bringing like cold foods. Right. Yeah. Like, even if it's bringing cold foods, like maybe salads and stuff. And he's like, no, I'd rather buy my food. Because it makes him feel comfortable. Yeah. And so the next time that we met, we talked about it. And he was like, so one of my friends that, you know, works there that, you know, because he works, um, I think it's Lackland. I'm not sure. It's one. It, he takes classes and works within the military. Um, he's like, one of my friends that lives on base has a microwave that I could use. I was like, okay. He's like, I'm also making an excuse because the last job that I was at, he's like, I brought a microwave because they didn't have one. He's like, so I have that option as well. I was like, absolutely. And he's like, and there's a mess hall that I think has microwaves. I'm like, okay. I said, you've got three fixes right there. Why is it that you didn't want to do it? He's like, you know, I don't want to burden my wife. I don't want to burden, because she does all the cooking. Yeah. I don't want to burden my wife. And I'm like, well, go grocery shopping with her. Let her be incorporated in with this. And so just it's the little things that you make excuses because you're not wanting to burden somebody else. Because he's a very, very kind person. He's like, I don't, want to, I don't want to put that on her. You know, she's already doing a lot. They have, you know, a very young daughter. And they're like, you know, I don't, I don't know. And, you know, it's like, just incorporate her into your changes because I guarantee if she's anything like you, she's going to do everything that she can to make your life better. And so he's talked to her, and it's gotten better. And, you know, she's starting to make healthier meals for him. And he's taking his food to school and to work now. And it's just a matter of understanding what, you know, your setbacks might be. What it stop, stop making excuses for other people. Uh, understanding what it is that you're capable of and what it is that other people are capable of and what it is that's really holding you back. I think that's a big thing is really having to dig into why. Why are we saying what we're saying? Why are we doing what we're doing? And why aren't we doing what we say we're going to do? And I think that's a big thing that, I mean, I know all of, I mean, I feel like we all do is try to, you know, why? Yeah. Why? And that's one of the biggest things is sometimes you don't think about the why. I think it's something that you don't think about it. <clears throat> Your why is too selfish for you admit it, to admit it. So that's in the fair. time that I've been doing this, I've only had maybe three or four people sit across me in a consult and be honest. I had one lady who was going through a divorce, and she sat down, and she's like, I'm 45 years old, I'm getting divorced, and I want a hot husband after I get finished with this divorce. All right. Cool. So what do I need to do for you? You need to make me look better. Okay. Cool. I get that. I had one guy come in, and he's like, hey, the Superman movie's coming out. This is a few years back. And he's like, I don't want my wife to see him shirtless and go, God, I wish my husband liked look like that. I want my wife to see him and say, hey, my husband looks better. And I'm like, well, God, that, that's awesome. Yeah. Good on you, but man. <laughs> I think people look at that as a selfish goal. And I had this conversation with a lady that I just started working with. And people think about selfish in, a, selfish in a negative way. They don't realize how being selfish can actually benefit them and the people around them. Because mm -hmm. um, as a parent, if you're selfish with what you're putting in your body, if you're selfish with what you're doing with your body, you set good examples. So Ava's a great example of it. You know, we have vegetables every meal. Hey, baby, what do you want for dinner? What? What do you want for dinner? Uh, Subway. So you just ruined it, thanks. <laughs> ruined it. She's been like, I'm cooking today. What do you want? You put, yeah. her, on, you put her on the spot. I, I'm, co we're cooking, I'm cooking dinner. What do you want? Meat carrots. So you want meat and carrots for dinner? Meat and carrots. So when you think about how that happened, that didn't happen by default, it didn't happen by luck. It's all, thanks, baby. 
Um, it's all the times that you know we've had the same thing. We have foods, and literally, these are your options. So, from a parental standpoint, yeah, it's easier to go to Subway. I mean, that's literally what she just asked for. The easiest option is for me to leave here, go around the corner, go to Subway, and it's done. It's over with. Kids got food. Mm-hmm. I don't have to cook anything. Mm-hmm. Yes, I have to clean stuff. Yes, I have to do things. But like we talked about, you know, these are the habits you have to get into. Yeah. Yes, you do your part in cleaning the dishes. You do your part in cleaning up after yourself. It makes it easier. I think too often parents, using them as the, the main example, because that's mostly who we deal with here, they're afraid to be selfish because they feel like yeah. it's going to have a negative impact on the family. Well, she wants meat and carrots in there. So the likelihood of her developing bad habits around nutrition and then being in the same spot as you know somebody else later on, very small. But that's selfish on my part because I don't want to go to Subway. I don't like Subway. Um, I don't know where it came from. No idea. I don't know. Like, don't she know. just one day was like, I want to go to Subway. And I was like, Ew. Commercials. It's those commercials. I, I can look yeah. That. I don't have to assume. They it's make so. it look really good. Yeah. And then you go and you eat it, and it's like, mm. I'm like, you got like this much bread, and then you got like a slice of turkey, and then you got like a slice of cheese, and that's it. Oh, I'm the kind of person, like, can you put more? I'm like, charge me for double meat, but like, put more than that. Yeah. Like, you're being like, selfish. <laughs> that sounds good. Like, yeah, like, I don't. Not a big fan. I mean, and then when she gets it, she gets the apple slices to go with it. So, I mean, even that, I'm like, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah. But, th- like, that's what we do because we take the easy road versus the right road. You know, oh, my husband won't eat that way. Well, who does the cooking? I do. My wife won't eat it that way. Well, who does the cooking? I do. Who cares then? Yeah. <laughs> You make it, they'll eat it. My mom does the same thing because my dad is very, very picky. Yeah. And my brother is starting to be very, very picky. And she's like, I have to cater to, to them. But my mom loves to eat healthfully. She does. She, you know, uses healthy fats. She, I mean, she follows a very healthy diet, but she suffers mm-hmm. because she has to cater to yeah. what everybody else in the family wants. And plus, too, it's, just, it's easier to make something that doesn't require prepping vegetables and things yeah. like that because when you're feeding a grown man and a growing boy, they eat a lot. Yeah. And so for her, it's a little bit easier. And she does incorporate, and she's like, I try. She's like, I try to like blend up all the vegetables and then put them in the lasagna. And so, but my dad has just always been the kind of person yeah. that likes very simple, yeah. plain looking food. And so it's to the point where I'm like, just make it. Even if you're the only one that's eating it, just make it. Yeah, and then just put it, you know, I mean. At some point, you're hungry enough where you're like, fuck, I'm going to eat it. Exactly. It. Yeah. I mean, that's how, you know, I don't want to say necessarily that's how I grew up, but I mean, there were plenty of times that my mom had made a healthier meal, and I was like, that's weird. It's green. Yep. I don't know how I feel about that. And she's like, well, if you don't eat it, that's all you're getting. She's like, either go make yourself something to eat. You're yep. grown up. She goes, you can make yourself something to eat, or you're going to eat what I made. I'm like, I mean, what you made. Yeah. And so, it's, you know, I started to enjoy, Absolutely. you know, having those things and stuff like that. And it's like, I'm like, just be like that with Dad. You know, I know Dad is, you know, a grown man that if he wants to have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches every day, then he can make himself some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches every day. Yeah, but you don't suffer because of that. No. And I mean, I get it. It's a family thing. You want to be there. But we let our kids dictate what we're doing. We let our spouses, we let our boyfriends, mm-hmm. girlfriends, whatever, dictate what we're going to do. When in actuality, this is your goal, and you want to be there. So the biggest thing... You know, everyone always says, I want to be healthy. They skip over the, what, the, what the really driving factor is. Okay, if you want to be healthy, allowing somebody else to control what you put in your body is not good for you. Yeah. It is literally, okay, I, I wanted to have, you know, uh, spinach salad and chicken for dinner. Okay. And then you want to have a pizza and Isaac wanted Thai food. We decided on Thai food. Well, it's not on you guys for just making that decision. I very well could have gone over here to Maggiano's, gotten some spinach salad on the way home. And then we all eat together. Yeah. You just got Thai food. You just got pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's plain and simple. Especially if you're going out. If you're going out to eat, you find a restaurant that's kind of comparable in what you want, or you make the choice when you get there. It doesn't matter. And this goes back to what we talked about, like the Thanksgiving things and Christmas. It doesn't matter what you choose to eat because you have your goal. As you change, people will be thrown off by it. People will ask questions about why you're doing what you're doing, but then they'll ask you to to, to do what you've done. Give me help. Help me get there. Because you made the changes that I couldn't figure out how to make on my own. Well, like, it's like consistency always wins. Like, you can be consistently bad and people are going to expect that. Or even at some point, there's that change of being good and they're like, whoa. Yeah. But if your mom, like, made green foods every day, eventually it's like, oh, yeah, here's my, here's my veggies. There's green. Here's my thing. Yeah. Like, Zared knows he doesn't leave the dinner table until he eats all his veggies that we gave him. Yeah. Right, and like, and that's the rule. And he's not able to eat his chips until he eats all the veggies or all his protein. Mm-hmm. So, like, it's just kind of like, just 
Yeah. Make it in a way you kind of have to be selfish. Yeah. Like you have to, and that's what goals are. They're selfish. That's they're for you. They're not for your family. And I guess two things need to happen too. It's is the goal realistic? Yeah. You know, like is it is it something that you're ready to do? Is it something that you're willing to do? And then are you that's able? Part of it. You know, like that ready, willing, and able is huge because you might be ready for it, like mentally, like yeah, I'm doing it. But are you willing to? actually drive through with it and actually cook the vegetables every day and no matter what your kid says you're gonna make them eat it or are you you know are you able to even do that because you might have a spouse who's super picky right whatever it is it's just ask those three questions if it's yes 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 then proceed with the smaller like action steps right you want to start eating healthier for the family just start with putting a plate of salad in the middle. And whoever grabs it, grabs it. But you make sure you grab it yeah. because it's your goals. Make what they want, but put the salad in the middle. Yeah. And that's one of the ones that Heather is a big one like that. Because there's times where we don't have whatever, like not times, I wouldn't say like every now and then there's like no veggies or the veggies seem, simply went bad or yeah. for whatever reason, right? But we have a salad and we throw a salad together with bell peppers, onions, tomatoes, and it's in the middle. Yeah. And you just grab your handfuls, we give Sarah his, Heather gets hers, and it's like we still find a way to get our veggies. Um, it's, not, it's just got to have those conversations. And then just start small. Just start small. Like, how are you going to start small? Well, for me, it's easy. I need to be more consistent with my workouts. Okay. Because we talked about this before. I don't yes. know if we talked about it here. Like, I have two options. Kind of like your client who makes the right to go home and the yeah. to come to the gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I walk in, and this is like, I, Katie doesn't watch these, so I don't care. Like, the biggest <laughs> thing, like, no, she doesn't. Like, she, every time I bring stuff up that we talk about, she's like, oh, yeah, no, I saw that. I'm like, no, you didn't. <laughs> but, uh, like, if I walk in, if she's not home, like, I literally walk in, put my stuff down, let the dogs out, let the dogs back in, go in the garage, and I work out. If she's home, it's like I walk in, I sit down, then we start talking, and then she's like, hey, do you want food? Do you want this? Do you want that? I'm like, no, no, no. And then, well, what's wrong? What's wrong? And it's like, oh, I'm just, I feel it's, you not, it's not that I, it's not that it's wrong. I just want to get on the other side of that door and do what I got to do for the next 30 minutes to an hour, and then, then I can do whatever that, whatever it is you want to do. just a few seconds. Yeah. yeah. And it, God forbid she's sitting down when I walk in. If she's sitting on the couch when I walk no, in, it's over. Because, like, my yeah. butt hits the couch, I'm like, Oh God, it's so it's done. It's so nice. Yes. What is this? And Tony's here before any of us. Yeah. You're the first one as far as who works here. Like, man, you're here what five o'clock, five? four thirty, yeah. four? <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, Last yeah. time I got here at five, and I'm like, I'll probably be the first one. His car was already here. I'm like, man, he's probably in the sauna. Yeah. He's probably doing something crazy. Yeah. Like, but that's starting small. Like, I had yeah. to start small. You know, like it's it's that. And when, okay, the piano, the instrument. I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Let's say assume that I go through with it. Mm -hmm. How do I start small? Man, I am literally gonna I think commit to 15 minutes every day. I don't care if it's garbage and I'm just playing and if it's just exercises. Yeah. But um, one of my good friends, mentor, good 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 friends of mine, he says that when he taught himself to play the guitar, he says he just committed. He's like, I committed to 15 minutes a day, no matter what, no matter how bad I was. And 15 minutes play and eventually turned into 20, 30, because he got better and better. So that's how I'd start small. My little brother taught himself how to play guitar. Yeah, that's right. He taught himself how to play guitar um, about two years ago now. No, about a year and a half, maybe two years. Um, but it was just a matter of, hey mom, can I get this video game that teaches me how to play guitar? Yeah, I guess that's fine. No problem. I remember when that game came out. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and so he like what my mom was like, he sounds like you when you were learning how to play the flute. Annoying. And I'm like, yay. <laughs> that's what I was about. That's what I was about. <laughs> and so she's like, you know, but he, she was like, he plays every single day. He literally come home and play. And it wasn't he wasn't great at it. I mean, he play the game and yeah. just you know mess up and just you know to the point trying, where trying. he played every single day for months. Up until his next birthday. He's like, Mom and Dad, for my birthday, can I get a guitar? And so it That's was the like perfect example. And it was like, you know what? Yes, you can. He didn't even have a guitar. No. And he was teaching himself how to play the guitar. And so he got he you know, mom and dad went and were like, You play every day and you've been playing every day for almost He'd a year. The guitar. Absolutely. They were like, We will buy you a very nice guitar. What pretty much almost whatever you want within reason. Yeah. You know, pretty much whatever you want yeah, yeah, yeah. to play how the music that you want. So they took him to um, now, mind you, again, he hasn't really been playing on guitars. He goes to uh, Guitar Center 
and he's embarrassed because he's like, I'm not, I'm not good. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. And the guy that was working there was like, just play something for me. He sits down, got everybody's attention. Everybody's attention in that store. Came over and they're like, how long have you been playing? He's like, a year. <laughs> and they're like, you sound like you've awesome. been playing for a long time. And they're like, you, there's little mess ups, there's little flubs and stuff because he's not perfect. But they're like, you know, you, you're really good. Like, you like, really good. And now he's been playing for, again, about another year. And just, when I was there this weekend, I'm listening to him play. I'm in, I'm in the living room. And he just, he literally comes home, goes in his room, plays guitar. Wow. All on his own. And he will play for hours. How old is he? He's 15. Holy shit. He will play <laughs> for good. hours on his own just because he enjoys it. Yeah. That's a getaway for him. Oh, his fingers are so And so good. he's got, and he was playing, and I wish I had a recording. I, I told him, I was like, you need to send me stuff. And stuff. He'll just send me like random videos. Like, look, I just came up with this right now. And there's one song that he he will play that my mom really likes. I'm like, can you send me just like even if he's not paying attention, send it to me. And I've heard him play it. I had him play it for me when I was up there, and it's beautiful because you can see this picture forming that he's playing. And he's like, I I imagine he's like in my head. This goes with like this picture that I have in my head of walking through a forest and there's yeah. these beautiful trees and this just he's like I've got this picture going through and it's stunning. Yeah. Just how wow. natural so he is that he and the thing is, is that he can listen to songs and pick them up because he's got really good um, auditory. Yeah, like I don't know what the word is for that, but yeah. he's got he he can hear it and so he'll and play it. The pitch and the tone. Yeah, he has yeah, he has yeah. good pitch. Pitch, yeah. And so he'll hear it and he'll start playing and I'm just like, I can't believe that you're playing. He's like, it may be off like an octave or so, but he'll stop and he'll listen and he'll start, you know, Trying playing. To get it. Yeah. And then yeah. It is just crazy. stunning just how his brain works. Yeah. So, but I think Clap. Yeah. I think it's a huge thing, it's just consistency. Consistency. Yeah. yeah. Um, one of my clients, the same thing was uh, he had a, a coach, he's like, I wanna he's like, What's your goal for the year? I wanna read a book. Oh, I want to read a book a month. He's like, cool, go home and read five pages. No more, no less. Five pages. Every day. And then the next time they met, ten pages. And that was literally it. Because he got in the habit of sitting down and spending that time. Five to pages. Just, yes, five minute habit. Two minutes. Like, three minutes. Five minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, think about that little thing. It breaks your day. It's your habit. Yeah. That's exactly right. And yeah. I think that's true. And I think the biggest thing is consistency. Exactly. So with you... Wanting to learn to play, like, the, like you said, 15 minutes. Yeah. What's Committing 15 minutes? Committing to You know, I'd spend 15 minutes on Instagram Absolutely. every day. Absolutely. And so just Absolutely. cut that out and do something else. Put my else. phone in the other room, force myself to walk into the other room, and start playing. Before I know it, I'm going to try my best to try and learn how to play those 15 minutes. And I might exactly. go to 17 or 20 years. You know, like with like yeah, because I with my brother. I mean, it started off with a little bit of time, and then next thing you know, I mean, he plays for hours, hours. And I'm like, how do you not get bored? He's like, I just love it, to the point where it's it's just fun, because you want to, because that's something that you within want. Within a year, he was good. Probably before the year, he was. Oh, already, within six months. Within a, he was, yeah, a few months, he was in good enough to where he's like, oh man, getting oh, excited yeah. to want to actually play. Yeah. Absolutely. I think to summarize everything. Um, what do you guys think? Biggest takeaways? We, we talked about consistency. I think consistency is a key. Forgiveness. Forgiveness, yeah. It, like, it is what it is. It happened. Move it forward. Mm -hmm. You know, you always have the next opportunity to improve, you know? Yeah, so. And I think really digging deep. Really digging deep and figuring out for everybody who's decided that, you know, fitness or nutrition is their revolution. Is that the right word? Resolution. Resolution? Oh, no. I was like, that's not the right word. I was like, that's not the right word. Like, oh my, my brain, like, it came What's out and I was like, happen? no. Okay, good. I'm glad I caught that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> is there a resolution that really digging deep and finding why? Like, why is it that you want to be healthier? Why? Yeah. Is it because you want to play with your kids? Is it because, what did you post the other day that why do you want to start exercising? Because I want to pet, or... Oh, uh, yeah, I want to be able to oh. chase all the dogs and pet them. Yes, yeah. something like that. I mean, even if it's something silly, like, there's nothing wrong with that. Whatever your reason is, write it on a sticky note. Put it on your fridge. Put it on your mirror for when you wake up in the morning. Put it on the back of your phone. I can't tell you how many times I've had sticky notes on the back of my phone to remind me of things that I needed to do. Well, and if you follow, like, I always look at other successful people, and I, I'm like, what habits are they doing? Imitate them. Yeah. Imitate others, people who are successful, whether it's coworkers, friends, family, celebrities, people you look up to, and look at the habits. Read their autobiography. You know, just 
this world. Definitely. Consistency, forgiveness, digging deep, you know, asking yourself the questions if you're ready, are you willing, and are you able? And then if it's a yes, 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 start small, build and build, because it's a whole year that you have to build on health and fitness. And if you focus and you think about it as a year and you just start small with five pages, and by the end of the year you're reading a book a month. Be selfish with your goals. Be, you know, yeah. and that's the big thing. Be selfish about it. If your goal sounds like something that somebody else would make fun of, you're not proud of your goal, you're not excited by it, modify it, make it smaller. Or own it. Like, you know what? If people don't understand this. This is not where I've been. This is where I want to be. It's going to seem crazy. It's going to seem ludicrous. But that's fine. If it's something you want to do, own it, be selfish about it, and then make your life about it so that you're not here in 2019 going, my resolution is to be healthy. Or to be fit again. Or to be, yeah. Trying again. And then, yeah. And then that's the other thing, too. How many times have you tried and failed? If you keep trying and failing, it's time to try something different. Yeah. Mm hmm. I agree. And if you have any questions, I mean, that's what we're here for. We will be more than happy to just give you, you know, something to move forward towards. If you have a question, if you want to, if there's something on the podcast that, you know, we've said and you're like, you know what, I want to incorporate hot and cold therapy. Yeah. Cool. Ask us. Send us a message, right? Ask us in the comments. I mean, we're more than happy to try to make sure that you are going to be successful because we want you to be as successful as you want yourself to be. That's a big deal. It's huge. Absolutely. Awesome. Uh, here's to another episode. Yeah, you guys are probably watching this in the new year. I know. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Happy new year. Yeah, Set new your year. goals. Set oh, your my goals. gosh. It's crazy. So excited for awesome. next year. I'm yeah. pumped. I'm Good. All right, guys. Happy New Year. Have a great day. Have a great one. Please like, share, and subscribe. See you next time. Thanks for checking us out. If you like this, go ahead, like it, share it, subscribe. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram.